Good morning. Welcome to our sunrise service this Easter Sunday. Uh, my name is Mark and I'm here with my wife Sally and we're here on Winter Hill overlooking Marlow uh, and the Thames Valley. At this time of year it seemed as if Easter would never come. But just as the sun is rising, so we can have confidence in the risen Christ. As I woke up this morning, I thought, do I really have to get out of bed? Do I really have to go out there? The, woman, the women in Matthew's Gospel might have thought the same as they tried to sneak unnoticed to Jesus' tomb early that first Easter morning. Reading from Matthew 28. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. I want us to be still for a moment and imagine we were there. I want to show you the view. Just as we look at that view, I want you to imagine what it would be like to be there, to be there with the women. How would you have felt? Let's just be still. We are challenged to leave the comfort, the warmth of our life, to meet the risen Jesus. What if people see us? Will you take the risk and expose yourself to danger? Will you step out in faith, not knowing what awaits? or even step out in faith, expecting something <laughs> unlikely to happen. Let's think about it. Let's pray together. Risen Lord, conqueror of death, an inspirer of life. Lift us from our comfortable slumber that we may seek and find your promised life to the full. And so your church will live out the risen life of its Saviour for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
We're going to worship together now. The words uh, can be downloaded on the Facebook page or you can just listen in. to show you the view. The women reached outside the tomb, but they daren't go in. But struck by what they saw with the stone rolled away, they couldn't yet bring themselves to investigate. They went back to tell the disciples. 
their approach was different. So reading from John chapter 20. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached for tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but didn't, did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Are you staying on the outside? Or are you diving right in? Have you really looked at the facts or do you just think you know the truth? Do you know the facts well enough to share them? Like John, have you seen and believed? And what was that like that very first time? I invite you now to pray with me. Risen Lord, the way, the truth and the life. Open our eyes to see you as you really are. <clears throat> Open our minds that we might truly know you. Open our hearts that we might know your love. Lord, make your people to live out your truth. In Jesus' name. Amen. <coughs> I think we should sing again.
the glory with unconquering sound. Endless is the victory our death has won. No more we die. So everyone has gone, just Mary was left behind. Mary, the bad girl, turned good, the lost girl who was found. She's crying. Someone has stolen the body of her master. What, what sicko would do such a thing? First they kill him, and now they steal his body. Why? Reading from John chapter 20. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. But Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said. I don't know where they have put him. At this she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't realise that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I've not yet ascended to the Father. Go, go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the, to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. I have seen the Lord, Mary boldly proclaimed. Do we feel able to make such a proclamation? In public, I mean. Do we share with others that we know the risen Lord? Are our hearts so warm this Easter morning that the excitement just bursts from us over those around? Brilliant if they're excited. Brilliant if our hearts are. Well, why do you think so if they're, if they're not? Huh. 
I invite you to pray with me. Risen Lord, as your Holy Spirit inspired the first witnesses to your resurrection, to share that news with the world, set our hearts so on fire for you that the good news of your resurrection flows from us into your world and brings new life. To the glory of your name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thank you for joining us this morning. We have other services on our Facebook page and on our digital church page on Before You team. We want to wish you a most fantastic Easter day because Jesus is alive. I'll leave you with a view here from Winter Hill. <laughs>